There are no need for introductions. I know all five of you who watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an intro using PowerDirector 17. If you've been waiting for me to do this tutorial on how to make an intro, I want you to put hashtag intro love in the comment section below. Here we are in PowerDirector 17. I want to remind you to subscribe to PowerDirector University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Your intro is the video calling card to everyone who sees your video. It tells your audience who you are and sets expectations for the quality and content of your video. It is vitally important for you to have a good intro. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create one. The first thing I'm going to do is bring an animated video into track one. I like this blue one, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to left click it with my mouse and I'm going to drag it down into track one and bring it all the way to the beginning of track one. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to add my logo to this. So if you are going to use your logo, I recommend that you create a PNG with transparency. What that means is that it will have your logo and then all of the background will be black. But when you bring that into Power Director onto the timeline track, all the black section will be invisible. So I have one here of my logo. I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to drag it down into track two to the position that I want. I think that's good there. That's where I want it to pop up on the screen. Don't want it to be visible at the beginning of the video, but I want it to kind of pop up there and we're going to do some adjustments to that later. And I want it to last the entire length of the video. So I'm going to bring my uh, cursor to the end of this clip until I see these two arrows. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this out to the end. And now it is, it lasts all the way to the end of the video. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add something to it to give it some flair and some pop to help it appear on the screen. And I'm actually going to use a video with an alpha layer. So a video with an alpha layer, here's one here. It basically has a black background, the alpha, and that's going to be invisible when you bring it onto the screen, kind of like with the PNG image. Here's another one called light uh, interference. Play this, you'll see, boom, does something like that. So I'm going to use this one called discovering the truth. I'm going to left click it with my mouse. I'm going to drag it down into track three. Now, what I want to do is I want this little logo to pop up and then I want this little overlay to play above it, but I want my logo to fit in the middle of this circle. And I also want it to show up right when this comes onto the screen. So I got some things I got to do. I got some explaining I need to do. Okay. So they both come up at the same time, which is great. But now I need to make some adjustments to my logo to make it appear how I want it to. So I can either double click on it or I can go to designer. And then I can go to PIP designer. Now the first thing I need to do is scale this down because it's too big. It's too big. That's what she said. That's what she said. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. So it's too big for this little overlay that I have. So. I'm going to just move my mouse to a position where I guess I can probably see the overlay and I'm going to bring the scale down until I think it fits in that little circle and that looks pretty good there. So let's play this back and see if it fits in there or not. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. So now I'm going to hit stop so I can make some more changes. So I got it down to the right side. It's right in the center of that circle. And now I need to make it appear on the screen when I want it to. I don't want it to just pop up on the screen. I want it to appear when that little overlay 
is coming through. So I'm going to scroll down here till I get to opacity. And here at the first place where my playhead is, I want to make sure my playhead's all the way at the beginning. I'm going to click on this keyframe, add a keyframe, and I'm going to change my opacity to zero. So that should work right there. Now I'm going to move my playhead to a position where looks like it's a good reveal point. And I think that's pretty good right there because the circle's there and it's about to start the other section. So I'll go ahead and change my opacity to, I'll leave my opacity at zero because I want it to still be invisible all the way up to this point. So I'm just going to add another keyframe here. And then I want my logo to slowly appear. So I'm going to move my playhead up to a position where I think I want it to be fully on the screen. I think that's pretty good there because the circle's gone and it's, this is going to be gone in a second or two. So I think this is a good spot. So here I'm going to move my opacity up to 100 and it will create a keyframe. So it's going to kind of fade from zero to 100 right there. So let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like now. Fantastico. I like it a lot. So I think we're good with the logo and the revealer, the alpha channel that's on top of it. So I'm going to click on OK. And I'll just play this back again, see what it looks like. I like it. Looks great. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and add a title. So I'm going to go to the title room and I'm going to make sure I'm under text only and I'm going to drag the default one down to track four. I think that's a good place to bring it in a little bit after like see how that looks and I will drag the end of it back so that it is the same length as, or it ends at the same place as all the other clips. Now that I have that done, I'm going to double click on this to open it up. And we are not in the title designer. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make this my YouTube channel. So I'm going to change the text here. All right, we're good there. So now I'm going to place my cursor in here with the letters and I'm going to double click to select the entire title. And I'm going to go down to the font paragraph section and I'm going to change the font. And I'm going to choose impact. And I'm going to change the font size to 24. And if you don't have these grid lines on, you can go here and when you hover over the safe zone and grid line selector, you can left click on that, go to grid lines and you can select grid lines. It helps you snap it into different locations a little bit better. So I have my set to 10 by 10 and I'm going to go over here to the align objects. I'm going to choose horizontal center. I'm going to go back to align objects again. And I'm going to choose the line bottom. And now I'm going to place my cursor here until I see crosshairs. I'm going to click on that, hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this up. And you can see it snapped into this location where this little purple line is. And I'm going to let go of my mouse and we got it all snapped in and we're good to go there. So now I want to do a few changes to the font. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Shadow, I'm going to enable a shadow, I'm going to open up this section and the distance, I'm going to change it to one. Don't want the shadow too far away. 
and then I'm gonna close that up. I'm gonna go back to the font face section. I'm gonna click on this little carrot here. And the fill type is uniform, so I wanna change that to two color gradient. And then I'm going to change the end width, so that'll change whatever's at the end, obviously. And I'm gonna change it to blue. See if we can change it up how we want it here. I'm just gonna type in the parameters that I want. And then I'm gonna click on okay. And I'm gonna change the gradient direction to make it straight down. And that's good there. And I like how that looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And so the next thing that I want, let's go ahead and give this a look now, see what this looks like. So it just pops on the screen there. So I don't want the title to just pop on the screen there like that. I want it to come in in a way that kind of matches the theme of the rest of the intro. So I'm gonna go to the transition room. I'm gonna go to alpha. And under alpha, I'm gonna select water droplets. So I'm gonna left click that with my mouse, hold down my left mouse button, and I'm gonna drag this down to the beginning of the title. And now if I play this again, you should see it appears kind of like water. And I think that matches the theme that's going on with the title a lot better. And now if you wanna edit the music or anything like that, then you can go ahead and drag your music down into another track. I'm gonna drag this into track five. And that looks like a dang good intro. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own. So if you want to help me help you use the affiliate link. And if you want more tips, tricks, and edumacation on how to use PowerDirector, you got to watch more of my content and you got to subscribe. That way, you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.